Hey, Craig here. I'm starting a new series of videos I'm calling Simple CNC Project. Basically a series of simple to more complex CNC projects for learning CNC machining. The first project is going to be a bottle cap opener. Right? So I'm going to make this part three different times at different feeds and speeds for people who have different machines. First I'm going to go into PathPilot and I'm going to change the feed rate for the probing to 30 and change the tool number to 99 which is my passive probe. Then I'm going to go to the probe tab and I'm going to probe the part using X, Y, and Z right there. Of course if you're using Mach 3, Mach 3 is going to have uh, similar functions. The CAD portion of this is going to be in a separate video. Okay so the first thing I'm going to do is install the part. This is a set of soft jaws that I made in the last video. It has a 50 thousandths depth and it's a hundred thousandths wide. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in. Seems to be getting a pretty good bite with fifty thousandths. So now I'm going to go ahead and set my zeros. I have my zeros in Fusion 360 set on this back corner right here but I actually have it set on the bottom so I'm actually going to set my Z0 on the, the jaw right here. I'm going to use my jog shuttle here. Now I'm going to probe X set work origin. I'm going to do Y Okay, X and Y are now set. I'm going to jog down. I'm going to set my Z. Okay, I got my zeros all set. Okay, so the first part I'm going to be making is going to be in the 2500 RPM range. I'm going to be doing the face milling with a 3 8 3 flute carbide end mill. And I'm going to be doing the adaptive clearing and finish with a quarter inch three flute carbide end mill. I was hoping to have a shorter end mill, uh, but it just hasn't come in yet. So I'm going to use this longer one. Uh, I have to be a little more uh, careful on the feeds and speeds because of the length with chatter and all. All right. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and load my code up. First operation. Okay, well I crashed the end mill into the jaw as you can see there. Um, basically what happened was I was so busy filming, thinking about filming, that I forgot to set the offsets, uh, the tool offsets, on that particular tool. It's actually a new tool. So, I set the offset on that, I measured the offset, put that into path pilot there, and I also double checked this uh, quarter inch, which I've used in the past, but I double checked the height on that. So
Okay, so I'm gonna flip this over. Make sure I'm in the upper jaw here, since it's a little smaller. Actually, I'm gonna make sure Clean first, don't want to sit in a dirty jaw. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and reset my zeros here and here and here. I'm not gonna worry about the the Z on the step here. I'm sure that's pretty good. So I'm gonna reset these and then face off the back and see what it looks like. Setting my Z's on this uh, second op isn't all that critical because I'm just facing it. If I was going to be doing a more complex object and I was going to be, you know, doing some other detail work on the back side of this, like chamfering, then I'd probably have special soft jaws. So I wouldn't actually have to do this. It would be all be based on the soft jaws. But since I'm just facing it. So okay, I've loaded up the code for the second op. Actually, it's uh, got kind of a cool pattern on there. So basically, th this is uh, 155 thousandths of an inch. Should be strong enough to open the bottle cap. I'll have to test it out. Uh, made out of quarter inch aluminum. Now I'm just going to deburr the edges on some 180 grit here. Don't want to mess up the uh, the finish so I'm just gonna 
do it real lightly, carefully here. And I'll do some uh, detail work. Just enough to break the edge, you know, so nobody cuts their hands on it. Alright, I finished the details on this off camera. Okay, I'm going to kick it up a notch now in the 5000 RPM spindle range. I'm going to do the face milling with the 38 millimeter face mill from Tormach. And again, I'm going to use the quarter inch three flute end mill for the adaptive clearing and for the finish. I'm not going to get too aggressive because I'm still only grabbing it by 50 thousandths in the soft jaw. certainly a lot faster but I, I could have gone faster on this other one here the one I did at uh, 2500 rpm with 3 8 end mill um, but you know I wasn't I wasn't sure whether the uh, the work holding was going to be good enough but I could see that the way I ran this I should be able to run this faster I kind of like this pattern better I guess if I was going to do this unfinished maybe I would do it this way with the 3 8 end mill if I was going to do it this way, I'd either have to polish it up or maybe do a 
a rough sanding or tumbling or anodizing or something but I think I'm just gonna stick with the 2500 rpm range and the 5000 rpm range on this video because I went into a lot of detail on the setup and all that kind of stuff on the before so maybe I'll go in to add the uh, 10,000 rpm spindle range on the next video all right well let's see if this thing works I'd like to thank both Jason Hughes with Sand Hill CNC and Sam with CNC for XR7 for supporting us on Patreon. I'm going to leave some links down below to their YouTube channels. They've got some really good videos. If you'd like to support us on Patreon, there should be a link up in the corner over here. Perks of being a patron would be able to download Fusion 360 files for all the projects that we're doing and also some other exclusive content. Also, if you'd like to subscribe, there should be a button over here, and there should be some additional videos down below if you'd like to watch some more videos. Alright?